Hi everyone, so today's makeup tutorial is inspired by the beautiful Crispy. I'll go ahead and link her video down below. And we're going to start off by using a white face paint and applying that with a fat, flat foundation brush. And it doesn't have to be a straight line. Um, you can go ahead and do it how I'm doing it. That way when you go ahead and draw on the cracks, um, you can just outline the edge of the, this line and that will be much easier. face paint I'm gonna go ahead and set that with a white eyeshadow and here I'm using my BH Cosmetics eyes on the 60s palette now using my Stila stay all day liquid liner I'm gonna go ahead and draw out the edge of my nose and then fill it in with any black eyeshadow Going back in with the steel aligner, I'm just going to go ahead and outline the jagged lines we made using the white face paint and adding a few cracks to add detail to the line. I did change my mind about doing the entire bottom half of my face so I'm going to wipe all that off and then going back in with the white face paint make the jagged lines again so that when I draw on the cracks it won't be as difficult just like we did with the top half. Once again grabbing my Stila liquid liner I'm going to go ahead and outline the white part of the jagged line. And then also add cracks just to add more detail to the line. Now using any black eyeshadow and an angled brush, I'm going to go ahead and draw on the lines for the outlines of the teeth. the easiest way to outline the bottom of your cheekbones is by sucking in your cheeks and then draw a line where you would usually contour. Once again using an angled brush and a black eyeshadow, I'm going to give the teeth more detail by just adding little triangles to the bottom part of the teeth. Again, with an angled brush and a black shadow I'm gonna go ahead and feather those lines out 
just to give the teeth a more elongated look of where they would naturally start growing out of. Going back in with my Stila liquid liner, I'm just going to go ahead and give the teeth a little more depth by adding more darkness to the bottom part of the teeth. And here I'm also going to darken up the cracks and just add a few other little lines to give it more detail. Once again, going in with a white eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and just apply the eyeshadow to the bottom part of the teeth. self-explanatory but here I'm going in with a black eyeshadow just so that the cracks can have different shades of black spraying my small detail brush with fix plus I'm gonna go ahead and dip it into this bronzy orange gold color and just apply that to black areas of the makeup Going back with the white face paint that we used earlier, I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over my lips and then use that gold shade with a fluffy brush and just also apply that all over my lips. Now for lashes, I'm going to use these by Sephora and I picked these up because they do have little rhinestones at the root of the lashes and now I'm going to go ahead and apply those as well. Taking that gold shadow, I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the tear duct of my eyes and also the top and bottom of my nose. Once again, with the liquid liner, I'm going to go ahead and sharpen the edges of the bottom of my cheekbones. So that completes the final look. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.